Good morning you guys and welcome back to video number seven in my creative junk journaling series. Um, today we're talking about texture and um, basically I love to add uh, pom-poms and ribbons and all kind of different things to my journals and notebooks and planners that I'm working in and so I thought in this video I would just show you um, ways that I do add different things and I know uh, definitely every time that I get like a happy mail or I order any kind of like junk journaling items there's always some sort of trim in there and I love that feel but I also want to show you guys a couple other little things that have been kind of on my mind and um, and I'll tell you why they've been on my mind but anyway let's go ahead and get started so I'm basically gonna I have my stack of uh, planners and journals and my um, new planner junk journal for my upcoming special event and so I'm just going to show you guys how I I'm just going to start adding things and just talk talk about it as I add them so let's go ahead and get started so basically oh where can I put this oh I've been rearranging my craft room my my art room and so the lighting may be a little different right now because I broke one of my special light bulbs that I turn on when I do videos. And so I'm working with one, but I have some other lighting come in. I have some natural lighting. And so I hope that does the trick. But I plan on doing a um, art room tour, which I've never done on YouTube. And so I'm really looking forward to doing that. But to be very perfectly honest, my room has been such a teetotal wreck that there was no reason to do an art tour because it would look like a junk room because literally I have had we've lived here almost two years and I have never gone through each and every bin and so I have to say in light of everything that's going on with the coronavirus that has been a good thing that has come out of it is the fact that I got to go through all my bins and clean up and get organized and have a place for everything that's so important so Anyway, um, this is one of my little crafty bins that I keep around, and I add just different textures to it. Um, these I just got in a Happy Mail. I'm going to actually be using one of these. It's like jelly type, uh, plasticky silicone filk type stuff. Um, this is a leather felt piece. So um, I put anything that I get like that, I put in here because it's something that I know I can go to this bin and find it and, and play around with it. This is called the eyelash ribbon. Ho um, Hobby Lobby used to carry this like crazy. I just went to go look again um, about, I'd say a couple months ago, and they didn't have any. So it, I'm sure you can find it on Etsy. Um, but I, I used to put these on um, ornaments and uh, pins that I used to make for my... Um, um, with my art and so that was always something I kind of kept on hand this I have my coffee over there so I don't want it to spill but this I picked up at um, in Warrington which is like a tr uh, antique show um, I think I picked up this at Warrington also but anytime that you're out garage selling or going to crafts I mean uh, like uh, thrift shops or anything like that always pick look for little ribbons and things like that because you can find them really fairly inexpensive um, this is stuff that I ordered online off Etsy um, it's actually like a hair um, hair which I think I'm gonna use that flower in there um, it's actually like a hair ribbon type for babies you know you you buy the little cute elastic and you make your little hair ribbons um, but like I said it's not like super clean and organized but to me this is organized <laughs> um, but anyway, look at this beautiful ribbon. This is so pretty. I love that. So anytime that I get bits and pieces, this was actually a lot of this stuff in here. Um, I love this little uh, doily. This actually was some of my grandmother's stuff. And so I always feel like I'm going to give it another life, you know, in my journals and things like that. So I kind of keep that on hand. Some of it's not made all the way. Um... But, you know, that's part of junk journaling is it doesn't have to be um, beautifully complete. It just makes everything fun and what you enjoy. Um, and then the other thing I have is um, this 
little bag that I carry. Um, and this is like when I go to like, like I took this bag to this re recent glamping event through Crafty Destinations. And I ordered these actually online from the Paper Journal. And they're little um, cute stitching of the ripped uh, ripped fabric and then you just stitch it and make it a kind of like a ruffle and so I love these and I'll order a bunch of these from her because I don't have to do the sewing and but if you're a great sewer that's perfect um, that's actually really pretty I may use that too but like I said I'm just going to get on here and play around I got this in a happy mail so um, oh there's those houses I was just telling my daughter I have some of these I picked these up off of the a D stash table and with the houses it's perfect for right now so I'm gonna put that aside because I do want to use those either um, later in my journals or actually maybe this on this video we'll see so pom-poms anything um, like I said that's texture that's fabric you can use in your journals um, now this is the one that I'm doing for a special event and I what I have here is I I feel like a napkin I love the feel of a napkin on paper and I really like it inside my journals um, and I, I kind of go in here and like highlight them or like make them take them and um, color them after I put them in here but I love the texture of a napkin inside my journal but for this one in particular it since my special event has to do with glamping by the way it's coming soon where I'm gonna release the information but um, I'm gonna glue this little um, in here. I'm gonna glue this in here, and we're gonna. Um, I'll show you real quick how I'm gonna kind of decorate it up and um, stick it in my my special event planner. One thing to know about when you are adding a napkin is since it is layered up, you want to make sure that you get that first layer. Or if you can't, which oh there we go. I'm like, if we can, I was going to wrap it around. I'm going to be doing this little insert. So, but the thing is, is what I've noticed is if you don't secure the sides, which typically with an, um, with a napkin, I will put washi along the sides or something like that. But if you don't, then that can actually start peeling up. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. And, um, Again, like I said, with the napkins, there's so many different options out there to use um, as backgrounds. I use a lot of mine as um, backgrounds, and then you can always uh, use a like a lined uh, notebook paper or sheet of paper to do your journaling on. If that particular, if you wanted to add wording and it's too soft to to um, to write on, let's see if I can get this. It's going to overlap just a little bit. I'm going to lose. Um, some of my, didn't want to lose the wording, but I might lose just a tad bit of it. But it just kind of adds a little bit of softness to um, the pages. And I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and glue this wrapped around. And then I can always add a piece of cardstock or... Um, scrapbook paper or something like that to the uh, to the back side to kind of cover this up and napkins are pretty delicate so just kind of keep that in mind when you're when you're gluing that down I'll tell you what once you add a napkin you'll realize oh I love the, the feel of it how it feels on on the outside so so typically what I might do is come in here is add some washi tape um, to the bottom here but um, let's see here I had a piece of material I was gonna put on the top oh here we go I also got this as a part of a kit that I ordered and I love you wouldn't be surprised if you kind of got this you might be like well what am I gonna do with that but I've held on to it because I do like the feel of it and I was thinking oh this would look really cute at the top there so I'm going to add that to the top and actually I was looking at some tabs so what I might do is just because I know eventually I'm going to come in and tab this and mark it as um, 
has something. I don't know yet. I, I kind of have an idea. I've been doing some extra uh, little tidbits here and there on my in my planner about what to write in here, but I haven't fully. Let's see, that's kind of a skinny little tab. Maybe I can turn this thing off and add that. That way, I have a, a space to. Um, to add some wording about what is behind the divider. What, are, what am I planning out here? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and hot glue this little guy down. What I might do is just kind of add little areas that, because I know it it'll come through but I'm just gonna add just oh no oh no I'm just gonna add enough just to get it now I have a big mess um, just to secure you don't have to secure all of it down but the majority of it now there my napkin is so luckily with hot glue if you kind of just wait for it to dry and you roll it around a little bit it will kind of go away. I don't know how, oops, how it will do on this napkin though. Not to worry, we are going to fill you in so that way you won't see all that mess up. <laughs> see, you're learning. It's okay to mess up. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and punch some holes. Get those taken care of. I was kind of curious how that was going to do with that felt piece. Sometimes it doesn't fully punch, it'll leave like, you know, or it doesn't punch it all the way through. And I just clip, I just take scissors and clip those off. But this one's just allowing me to just kind of pull them off. And again, once I add that cardstock to the back or whatever, it'll, I'll need to repunch it. But for now, that looks good. Okay, so. I have talked about these for a while on my Instagram page and I love them. They are ink glitter markers. You can find them on um, on um, on Amazon. Super inexpensive. You get quite a few for um, for like eleven dollars, I think. And they're they are some of the best glitter markers. Oops. I've picked them up at the dollar store. Dollar Tree, where everything's a dollar, and um, God, I have to be really careful. It could be that the napkin's really wet, but just keep in mind those napkins, you know, they're very thin, especially once you take the back side off, but I want to add some sparkle in here, and plus i got to repair my damage. Okay. Let's see. And I'm just highlighting a few. I'm not not even really coloring the lines as they say. Haha. -ha. Um I may just outline the door. Um but just to add it that little bit of sparkle. And that's what's great about these pins too, is you don't have to like, you, you can if you want to, color it down. I just kind of, that napkin's very tender under there. Okay, so that's that. That's one way that I'm going to add my texture in to this. Oh, I had ordered this paper. It's actually, it's felt off of Etsy. And I had thought about making me a TN cover, a traveler notebook cover but I never did and so this is kind of atlas themed and so I um, I just punched holes in it and added in here it's another piece of texture that you can add in here so let's just put this little guy back behind here and then you are adding cuteness to it okay so one other thing I wanted to add to this particular uh, planner before we move on is I, bought, I also got this in a Happy Mail, and it's that, uh, you know, I kind of mentioned it earlier, it's that 
plasticky. I order these pin sleeves from uh, Sparkle uh, Brit. Why can't Brit Sparkle? Sparkle Brit. I will text. I will text. I don't know why my brain's not working this morning. I love her pin cases. I ordered a bunch of them. I have them. I love to just like this one. I had my other pin in there. Sparkle Brit. Brissa is her her name, and she's out of. Um, Nevada, but um, anyway, she, um, I love these pins, and she just came out with these smaller ones, and they're great, so it's that same material, and I will, add that to here, and I'm going to, and I'm going to, uh, I'll leave her information below, in case you're interested, because they're great, I love them. And I'm just going to punch holes in this. And I kind of was thinking about adding, like making this into a bookmark. Like adding something at the top, maybe some tool, maybe um, another kind of star um, type material. Like staple it to the top or something like that. But for now, I just want to get this piece in here because I really love it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to my. Oh, I just used that as a template. <laughs> but I'm just gonna add it to my. I'm gonna actually I'll put it right on top of this one. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it just adds a little. Look at that beautiful sparkle. It just adds a little something. So that's one thing I had on part of my list to do. And um, let's see here. Let's move into my one little word book. And this one is I'm working on. I am so far behind, but this is like actually one of my most favorite projects that I do. And it is, um, it's, this is a notebook that I picked up from uh, Half Price Books. But in this particular um, journal, I do a lot of mixed media. I, I do a lot of journaling, a lot of writing, a lot of personal stuff goes in here. But I've been working on just pre prepping my pages. And if you're familiar with the one little word, Allie Edwards, um, she does a, um, she sends you monthly prompts to do. And it's really great to keep on top of your word. And so... Of course, um, with me working in this notebook, I wanted some pretty little fringe here, and so I, that's, I just wanted to show you real quick how I do that. I've come in here and added, I think I showed you this in the first video, um, where I just was playing around with watercolor, and I just kind of did my basis of watercolor. This is really great because I've already had my pages prepped, and I can sit down and actually put in my, my little pieces that are actually from her prompts. It's diff different ways that you can write in here um, what you're wanting to let go of, your definition of your word. Um, and with this page, I did something a little different. And I know what's going to happen over time, but I am okay with that. I have come to grips. I was getting crazy one night, and I put a lot of this sparkle. So if you can kind of see it here. And you see that glare? That is actually packing tape. <laughs> And I know over time that it is going to discolor because that's what it does. But I didn't have any, I couldn't um, seal this in. And with these sequins, they weren't going to stick. And I kind of, after I put all this on here, I had put glue down. I was like, oh, I really probably shouldn't have done that. So I just stuck packing tape on it. But I'm okay. Um, like I said, this is like a personal journal. It's not... Um, I mean, it's archivable, but it's over time, you know, this is more like, I'm okay with it, basically. I think I'm going to add a piece of cardstock on the back side here just to give it some more reassurance. But again, I love it. I added sparkle. I wanted sparkle. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is, this is just, I love this project. So I'm going to actually come in here and just add like this note to self. I just randomly pick a page. It doesn't have to be any particular um, page that you added on, but I want to come here and add some um, ribbon or some pom-poms, um, or actually let's do this rick rack. Let's see what else I have. I think I might do, I feel like this, um, 
this. I don't think it's long enough, even though it's super cute. Um, to me, I like to have it running all the way down. And actually, I've kind of ripped this up a little bit to make it a little longer in my other books. So let's see if that does a trick. That actually may work. So let's do that. And if you're good with the sewing machine, which actually, to be honest, with my room redo, I am. Um, I might have my sewing machine out, so I can sew a straight line. I guess what I'm saying is I can't sew like an outfit <laughs> or, you know, my friend um, that does so sweet sidekicks. I always order stuff from her, like this cute little mug rug. Um, I don't. It would take me a long time to do something like that I guess I should say I have some stockings I used to sew all of our stockings and um, so that's I mean I can do it it just I think it's relearning or maybe it's just me saying oh you're gonna have to take time to do that so that's that I'm gonna add then I'm gonna add this little rickrack on there as well See, so it's it's really as your preference. I'm gonna use a little glue stick. I used I also if because I this is a hot temp glue gun. I'm not a low temp. I like the um because I feel like it sticks better, but I sure don't want to burn my fingers. And so a lot of times I'll either use just something to kind of help punch down. I always, uh, scissors are my go-to, and I just use the, them at flattened, and not use the fingers. And there's so many, if you go on the ribbon aisle, there are so many items you can pick from. But like I said, keep an eye out if you're ever out and about looking. It's very pretty. Also, I was just kind of looking at this over here too. I know there's like a yucky spot on here. You can actually, if you want to get really fun... This is actually a sticker, but I'm not going to use, I might use half of it, but since the, I'm going to have that um, flower hang off, I'm not going to peel the entire sticker. But I don't want it, the thing with adding glue, I don't want over time to be able, that sticker is just going to come right off. So I think right here. So I'll just cut this and leave part of that sticker on so I don't have that stickiness my book page and if you notice my pages are empty I don't know if I just mentioned this and if I did I'm gonna repeat it sorry about that <laughs> but I um, I really uh, what I like to do is I take my journal I take it a step further and like I said well, here we are in the month of April but it, first of all we all know it's been a crazy year right and then this stuff is really sticky um, and the other thing is, see, isn't that cute? I love, I just, I love having things stick out. Um, but look at that cute little page you're adding texture, it feels, I know this can be a note to myself. Actually, I might come in here and I feel like it's coming up, so I might just get my little handy dandy mini stapler, or you can hot glue it under here. That might be better. Um, but I take my uh, one little word and, and I do have my things that I write down but I go into what I like to do is at the beginning of the year which to me I'm still doing in April I'm totally fine with that um, I may kind of do some lessons learned because I did have already learned some lessons this year um, but I'm going to come in here and um, uh, I'll write out like family, business, 
um, personal health, all that kind of stuff, I actually write letters to myself and write just tell them what's going on, where I've been, what my plans are for the year, and then I like to come back and look at it um, in December and see what have what did I do, how was I successful, and those kind of things. So anyway, that's kind of what this is all about. And I might do a separate video on this particular journal process, but that's one way of adding texture to that one. Um, and then the other thing, I have, this has been on my mind, and it's so simple, but I thought... I'll do a video. <laughs> I'll add it to this video because this is my current journal and this has been on my mind for a while. This is um, this is my uh, current one that I've been working in, my April one, and I'm going to, um, this also is from Sparkle Bris, this cute little um, butterfly. It's so pretty. But I wanted to, I had this vision of like, hang your troubles out to dry. And I don't, I don't really feel like, I just love clotheslines. <laughs> Does that make sense? And another thing that got me thinking about this is, um, did you, have y'all seen that movie Trolls? Okay, it's so cute. She scrapbooks, right? And she, in the very beginning, it has all this cute, um, where she takes felt. They have felt clothing and everything. This is the old Trolls. I haven't seen the new one yet. But I think this is what gave me the idea too, is that they're little clothes and they are all, you can see all the stitching in their clothes and things like that. And so um, on her little journals and scrapbooks that she has, she has like trees and the trolls and everything's made out of felt. And I just thought it was so cute. And then my friend also has this little die cut that she uses that she'll cut her felt out of. This is a card that she sent me. And so I just put that in there. Um, and so, but she also has little outfits and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, you ought to use that troll, I mean, that little die cut to create, like, hang your clothes out. She's like, oh, I've done that. I'm like, I want to do that. So anyway, I'm going to do that. And I thought it'd be cute to do this video. So I basically just cut a piece of felt freehand. As you can tell, it's not the perfect little dress, but felt. You guys, I mean, you can do anything. You can do flowers. This, These little felt flowers that I just added, Hobby Lobby for like $2 and something. They're on that felt aisle. Um, and you can use, I mean, they have tons of these. And like I said, you can layer them up. You can add buttons. You can do a page of flowers. There's so many different ways. And, it, and, and it's very inexpensive um, to add to your your page. So I wanted to hang, do a little clothesline with this little doll dress. And um, I went ahead and added uh, hymnal pages onto the back of this piece of, um, this was that, um, what do you call it, a uh, paper bag that I had added to my journal, my traveler's notebook. And I did hymnal pages and then I just took acrylic paint and watered it down fairly so you could still see behind the paint. And I just did like an outdoor type scene, grass, blue grass, blue skies. So I have this twine and I'm going to just kind of take the twine and I'm going to tie a bow at one end. And you could do this with paper too, um, especially if you like the idea of, I wanted to do all different kind of little dresses, but for this particular page, I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to make one little dress. And I might come in here and put a cute quote. Um, I want it kind of blowing, like it's blowing in the wind. I'm just kind of trying to figure out where to put my other bow at. See if that works. Maybe lean a little closer. putting a smidget of hot glue down to hold the bows in place. Uh oh. This one. Another thing I think you could probably do, let me let that dry a little bit before I mess with it, is, um, and I like having strings hang so I'll put that, is maybe um, like do a bow out here. 
see if I can do that. Because that bow... I'm going to be okay. I was thinking it kind of lost its loop there, but I think it will work just fine. And then I'm going to glue the tops of this little guy. And I just did a little stitch in there. It wasn't any, you can tell they're not even. I'm perfectly fine with that. I got a knot in my thread right here, which I'm perfectly fine with that. But I think I'm, I'm going to glue it on the bottom. I thought I was going to just have it hang, but I think I'm just going to glue it where it does. I just think that's so adorable. Um, so I guess, so I'm going to add some sort of quote in here. Maybe I'm going to put some little trim at the top. Let's see here. Let's go to my trim box. Or maybe I'll put it at the bottom. It just reminds me of trolls, I swear. It's just so cute. Um, maybe I'll put the quote at the top. I don't have a quote right now. I want to, I need it. I was going to think about it, but I wanted to just show you guys how to add the texture in. So we'll put some. This was such a great deal. I can't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't very much. And I even shared with my friend that. The one that loves to journal too with felt and it was such a good deal like I said the thrift stores and things like that are perfect places to find little materials you could add flowers I mean there's so many little possibilities oh that looks so cute well let's do it let's add it <laughs> um I don't think I brought it with me but one of the things I might show you guys on here, I don't think I have it with me, but at the pencil board that I use that I actually got in a Happy Mail, it's basically, I think I might have mentioned it before, but it's basically a laminated uh, cardstock. I might make one on here. That might be a good, fun little video to make. Um, is um, that way you can put it down if you're journaling that and you don't feel this bumpiness of all your happy little things that you've added so there it is isn't it adorable I might come put a button I might just put another piece of uh, felt or something like that in here um, so yeah and like this one I put a, a little thank you note in here but I was thinking I could add this little house it's very thick so sometimes I like to wait until the end and then come back and doll my journal up just because um, it I don't want it to get like where that's kind of thick those little houses but they are very cute anyway so that's another that's another thing I've been wanting to do is add that cute little belt dress to my journal and then the very last thing if y'all are still with me here is my memory keeping happy planner. And I haven't, I have just been adding to it, which I'm so thrilled and I'm, I'm up to, not quite up to date, but I am in March, I believe. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting there. My last week of March, I got a document. Um, I know, I don't know what to do about my pictures. I'm going to have to order some online, I think. So, but I wanted to, I needed something in here, right? I need to have some pom-poms or something fun. So, um, I thought I would add them. I got some pom poms here. I got that. Um, I don't think this is long. Isn't that beautiful. I just maybe I'll add it to the top. Oh, that's a great idea. This is the March. Um, usually, what I do is um, decorate, and I talk about it. I haven't done that, and like I said, I'm just feeling very blessed to be able to get my weeks done, having the opportunity to be able to do that. But typically I'll either add pictures or do something along um, um, in here as my intro. And I, I actually had made these um, from the last, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, where I made, um, I just love that, let's see what it was, where I made, ha <laughs> ha, yeah, you gotta have some fun stuff sticking out. Um, where I made like a 
what what we're at, where we're doing, what we're listening to, those kind of things. But I think um, April, I think I'm going to have to come in here and do it. I, I feel like I'm caught up, you know, so I'm feeling a lot better about it. Uh, and But I really, I did like looking back at stuff like that. I love this eyelash girl. It's so fun. Let's see what the red would look like. I like that quote too. So, so a lot of times I'll cover up this stuff just because I want to add my own own things to it. But let's see if we should be doing blue. White's pretty though, but you know, color. We love color. The blue and let's see the red. It's April, so I kind of think blue. But white was really kind of like a... Oh, I love the red, don't you guys? Red it is. Okay. I think because there's lots of red in this quote. So let's add some eyelash. The thing with this eyelash stuff, though, it's kind of... You gotta... There is a backing to it, so it's kind of wild and crazy. But you just have to kind of pay attention to the side you're putting down and like I said it comes out of it goes all directions but there is a there is a backside And I mean, I don't know, just having this, I have it even, I didn't bring my planner here, but I've added the same kind of trim kind of stuff on here. Or, now with the Happy Planner, what's cool about it is that you can take your pages out. So if that bothers you, you're able to at least take the pages out and then you can play around with it and that kind of thing. So... This one would be a perfect place to put this little house. And I know um, companies just don't make these anymore. I know this is kind of in the layered embellishment. This was from Pebbles. I don't know how old this is, but I immediately loved it when I saw it. Um, oh my gosh, it looks so good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take this backing off to kind of make it not so thick. <laughs> um since it is a at-home month. And that way it's not totally too thick, but I love this stuff. It's is it going to make a comeback eventually one day. I know they have the jolly little things, but I like the little felt. Whoops. I think this goes perfect with our life right now. Off the extra glue. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So I hope you guys, I mean, I know it's basic little stuff, but anything goes with you guys. Anything you've got, look how fun that is. See how fun that is to pick that up. <laughs> it makes you want to work in it. And you know, you can add different. This is some of the stuff I added, but I like the trim. I love the felt. It could be really cute to do a whole page of with dresses um you know little felt dresses wow that's fun so all right you guys i hope you're inspired to look into your ribbons look into your felt um and get creative and create a little bag that you can carry along with you to add those kind of things to your journals well i appreciate you watching and i will see you in my next video